just gonna grab my coat. Good morning guys. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I wasn't planning on vlogging today, hence the like greasy slick back hair, minimal makeup, but I have a couple of things that I wanted to do. Hello Barney. Barney boo. Barney boo. You can see my coat, but you ain't coming with me. Um, I have a couple of things planned. I'll just pop you there. Which I thought um, you might like to see. Great vlogging skills. <laughs> As I was saying, I have a couple of things planned or that I want to get done today. And with me not planning on vlogging, I, yeah, I'm just not, it's already, the day's getting away with me. It's already midday. Um, but I thought this is the sort of content that I, especially in January, would want to see myself. So I thought, you know what? Pick up the camera. We'll see where this vlog goes. I do want to head to B&M, hence grabbing the coat. I might pop to Costco as well, actually, because um, I need to get some stock up of like toilet roll, kitchen roll, just bits like that um so i might head there as well so yeah by the time i get back it's probably going to be getting on and needing to crack on hence why i wasn't really going to vlog but i thought you know what pick up the camera i want to basically sort out that pantry and have a good clear out good organize i don't know if i'm going to get it done all today or within today's video but if i do amazing if not i'll update you guys in um another vlog like next vlog or whatever but <clears throat> you know when you inhale your own spit <laughs> gross anyway i just had this come through the post actually i've had another thing arrive but it's actually for a friend so i'm not going to show you that just because i don't want to ruin the surprise little gift that i got her but i've got a tallow and ash subscription which they very kindly added me on to so i just have to pay for the delivery which is so generous of them because this stuff guys it's insane i've talked about their shampoo like laundry shampoo and conditioner before um and i i started working with them back before hold on let me just prop you up there before they even uh had these or they were like in production so they sent me little sample sachets before these were even produced so i feel like it's been like a full circle thing of seeing the product go from um sample sachets and me telling them my opinion on the scents and what i liked what i didn't like to them having them in full production and me being on their gifting list which is honestly just amazing you can see there i've got a wash load that i've just popped it on now actually and i'm currently using the gray one which is oud but i've switched it over to the the scent duvet day my subscription so if you didn't know that teller nash did subscription then check it out um but yeah really strongly scented but good, I have sensitive skin and I'm absolutely fine with their products. It even says non-bio sensitive skin. So yeah, really, really happy that I have these. Come, I think I get them every few weeks. I might need to up that or buy something in between. I'm not sure. But yeah, Duvet Day is a lovely kind of clean cotton scent that is beautiful so yeah that's gonna be my next scent on the go after my food one is finished but anyway let's i feel like get on the road before we waste any more time procrastinating and head to b m and costco and then back here to get cracking with the pantry clear out and organize it's gonna be a big task i'm actually thinking is it too late in the day to start it but no i'm making excuses aren't i are you gonna come up? Sit pretty, sit pretty. Oh, good boy. You're so cute. You just wants to come with me. You're gonna stay here and look after the house and be a big brave boy, aren't you? Yes. Okay, let's go. Of 
just turn that icon off for a second you may see the white and red hair the infamous costco coloring i have just pulled up after a successful trip at b&m and um yeah i'm gonna head on into costco see what they've got it's absolutely glorious today Yes, I'm doing that stereotypical British thing. I'm talking about the weather again. When do I ever not? Um, but yeah, it's just so beautiful. I actually had a really long morning walk with Barney this morning. That's probably why the day is getting away with me already. It's one o'clock now. I haven't even had lunch yet. So I'm doing this trip on a hunger, hunger belly. But if you know Costco, you know that they do the little samples as you go around. So that might just be my lunch. <laughs> Who knows? But anyway, let's head on in. Let's see what they've got. Let's grab the essentials and then head back home. And I will do a bit of a haul because I have quite a few things, especially from B&M as well. How can you not go to B&M and just buy everything you don't need? <laughs> Where are you now? Years have passed and restless legs have said oh Sweet home. Barney's helped me carry in the shopping, haven't you? <laughs> Always loves to help out. So I do a quick Costco haul just before I put the food away and then I'll show you the B&M bits, but I resisted a Costco pizza. That's a pat on the back from me. Um, I did pick up this, which I thought I would tuck into now for like a late lunch, just a rotisserie chicken. I love nothing more than a rotisserie chicken bread roll, mayonnaise, simple. Absolutely love it. So I've picked up that. Also, I just got this three pack of organic um, avocados. Their avocados are huge. <laughs> so I got three of those and then also some kefir, which we quite like popping um, a little bit on Barney's food because apparently it's good for them. And also in smoothies, just to like thicken it out without having something sugary or oat milk. Kefir is good for the gut. I also just picked up some med veg some of these which go in they are in the fridge in costco but uh, we always get these and put them in the freezer and just have them on whenever we fancy it they're more tom's thing i do love them that's a complete rubbish story that i've just said that it's tom that likes them we both like them but um <clears throat> tom insists on having some in the house at all times so whenever we've finished a box I replenish. Um, I did pick up some Parma ham. I like the fact that it's split into two different sections. So obviously you don't have to finish the full lot once you've opened it. But yeah, picked up some Parma ham. Also got some sweet potato fries to go in the freezer. And then this, this is something that, this was a naughty purchase. I saw these, which I've never seen them. Obviously they do the massive muffins. If you know Costco, you know. They like to go big on their cookies and muffins and everything. And I've never seen them do the coffee frappe and walnut flavor, which if you know me, you know that my favorite flavor cake is coffee and walnut. Very controversial, I know, but I love it. And these are like full of like frosting. So anyway, I only wanted one re realistically, like one today, maybe one tomorrow. So the packs of these were about seven pound. And I thought for six huge, muffins that's pretty good value so it says they're freezeable as well so i thought i can have one now maybe save one out for the next couple of days and then freeze the rest anyway i got to the checkout and she went um it's two packs of muffins for seven pound i went oh two i thought i've committed now rather than just leave her with them i thought okay then so i went and got a pack of chocolate i probably i do like chocolate muffins but that probably be more tom's uh, and then I'll have the coffee ones. So I'm just gonna put all of these in the freezer for now because Tom's being healthy at the minute, but 
they'll be good in the freezer for a, a while. So yeah. And then I also went via Starbucks on route home, little drive through because I had a free drink because it was my birthday month of January. So I had a free voucher. So I thought oh, I'm just gonna treat myself for the road. So I got a gingerbread latte. I feel like, cause we've had snow this week and because it's absolutely freezing outside, but beautiful sunny weather, I thought I'm feeling something festive. So I went with a gingerbread latte. Um, anyway, decaf, of course. <laughs> I'm gonna pop these food bits away, have a bit of rotisserie chicken, chill out for a sec, and probably join you in the front room or upstairs for my B&M haul section of the video. So if you haven't already, make sure you're set with a nice coffee as well, because we're gonna get into a nice sat down chatty haul. We're in the front room, we're sat down. The heated floor's on, so sat on the floor and I'm not upset about that. It feels very cosy. Anyway, I've got two of these big bags to share with you from B&M. Um, I'm just gonna like dive into them and feel, oh, this was a good bargain. So they had Christmas clearance and I did pick up another gift bag, which I used these gift bags this year. These were reduced down to 10p and there was only one left and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna grab that. Um, they had, you know, the sacks that we used for like the stockings for Christmas. The beige like boucle with the faux fur top. Sorry if you can hear the traffic outside, the window's open um, for the builder to get power on the inside. Anyway, yeah, they had those stockings for a quid, one pound, and they had loads of other bits as well. A bit of uh, storage solutions for January, something that I definitely what to get on top of is just getting the house fully organized everything having a home isn't that just like as an adult your never-ending job <laughs> to just have the house organized but anyway they only had two of these left otherwise i would have picked up more but i really want to get some storage well i really wanted to get some storage for towels and linens especially and i thought under bed storage would be ideal for that so they were seven pounds each got two of those i'm not sure how many towels i'll be able to fit in them i need to clean the oven so i picked up two of the oven prides really random sweet corn again more storage solutions i picked up this a food pack organizer which hopefully we'll be able to get to use in the pantry four pounds for that one a couple of bin bags two pounds each deodorant a lighter for two pounds oh this is a new scent that i've never seen before from airwick one of the plugins so i thought i'd get a fresh one it's in the scent uh snow place like home with notes of pine and sandalwood so i thought that sounded lovely a couple of toothpastes just a whitening one and a sensitive well not sensitive sensitive one and then lastly in this bag some micellar water okay so next bag i know i was mentioning about using the tallow and ash laundry conditioner shampoo which i do use but quite often for the actual shampoo part i prefer to just use the pods and then use their conditioner so i picked up some more fairy pods um and then the laundry shampoo from tallow and ash i tend to use for more like towels and things like that um throws you know like bigger items rather than my actual clothing i don't know why but i've just always used fairy non-bio i got another scrub mummy so i actually got two now i had this one this is from the christmas range but i like it because it's white and i keep this out in my sink but the one that we've got is very grubby so we've got a new little polar bear and then they had the valentine's edition so sucker for marketing decided to pick one up for valentine's which is upcoming i feel like the shops this year have loads of stuff for valentine's where i feel like do we decorate for valentine's day I don't think I ever have. I might do like a little bit of a Valentine's brunch or spread or something for in the kitchen, but not decorating. But anyway, we've got a scrub on me to decorate the sink with. These are in the clearance as well. I think they're about 25p because they are Christmas, but they are scented poo bags, forest pine scent. So I thought I would just use those up for 25p. Can't go wrong. I did pick up a big box though as well for five pounds of the lavender scented poo bags just me or did anyone else realize you could buy scented poo bags because i didn't so now that i've seen those i will use the 
Christmassy ones first. I've got another 1001 carpet freshener. I like to use this on the rug and also upstairs. And this one's the Feel Energized scent. I also decided to stock up on some of these because I want to get into the habit of properly washing my face. I've bought a new cleanser, so I kind of take makeup off if I've got it on with that and then go in with a cleanser, which the new one is on Roots, like a medical grade cleanser, which I really want to get into the habit of using something just a little bit stronger. So um, yeah, I picked up four packs of two. So we've got eight in total. They were two pound a pack um, of these little face cloths, just perfect to have one a day, bung it in the wash and then get through like an entire week's worth before putting them through the wash and put them fresh again. Um, I also saw this in the bathroom section, which I thought looked quite nice. I've bought before the wooden tray that they had in like the standard wooden color, but they now do it in black as well. So I thought somewhere around the house, it'd be quite nice to use this as a candle plate. And yeah, for four pounds, I thought that was great. I've never seen this before, but I love the Provoke Touch of Silver range for the shampoo, the purple shampoo, but I've never seen the purple toning dry shampoo and i am also a big big lover of dry shampoo so i will give that a try and let you fellow blondes out there know what i think if we go for like a dog walk and we're going for quite a long one rather than take a cup we just take a reusable rather than take a reusable we just take a disposable and not very often we do that but it's nice and handy to have them in stocked up on some paracetamol seen as though i got through a couple of packs when i had covid so I'm just replenishing the cupboard there. This was in the kind of new seasonal section. So I'm thinking maybe for summer they might kind of advertise these a bit more. But they are a glass fluted, they call them soda cups with the glass straw as well and a glass lid. But I thought this would look like gorgeous for like the aesthetic girl for an iced coffee or in summer for like a nice fresh lemonade or something and i do have to admit having a drink in a nice cup mug glass it makes it better um but i also thought this lid part because i'm not sure if i would use the lid all the time but flip it over and it makes for a really nice again fluted little candle holder i thought that could be quite a good idea £2.50 and then I picked up a Pyrex dish. I just find these super handy. They were, I think they were £6 so I got one of those and then I got some more storage for the fridge. After this I'm gonna tackle the fridge, empty it out, give it a bit of a clean. I'll show you what it looks like afterwards as well and then I think I'm gonna pop in these for just for like keeping things organized and neat and tidy. So I picked up the berry basket container. So yeah, four pounds for this. So it's got the berry baskets in there, which obviously apparently get your supermarket berries or your produce at the supermarket. It's better for you to rinse them off, take them out of the packaging and then decant them into something like this. They last longer. And yeah, because it kind of sits within here, the water isn't gonna drain anywhere but this basket so yeah four pound for that some more of these kind of um storage containers for fridge pantry wherever but three pounds each for these two i got three of the smaller size because i feel like these are quite handy for in the fridge for things like yogurts in them two pounds each the smaller ones that is everything i picked up from b&m now let's tackle all the rubbish job of clearing out the fridge the fridge is now done let me just show you what it is looking like a lot cleaner fresher it's also looking like it needs to be restocked because it's looking pretty bare i've just got um a couple of jars of bits here in fact that's kind of annoying let's just have them all on one shelf for now and um, we've got the kefir over there the rotisserie chicken leftover i've got a couple of these containers already but obviously i've got the new ones from bnm that i can pop in the fridge um, I'll probably save that until I've actually done a supermarket shop so that I know uh, like what's going where. In fact, these I'm probably going to take out of their packaging and pop them in there. And then we've got, so Fresh Zone, we've got some avocados, lemons, medveg. We've got some meats in there. 
cheeses in here, all in date and organized. We've got sauces, condiments, chutneys, and jams up there. Juice, we need to get some more milk, and that's it. All nice and done. So now time to move over to the pantry. Oh, look, there's a missing muffin. I may have just had one and it was delicious. Okay, so let's just give you an overview of how everything is looking and we'll see how far we get today. I might even run this vlog a little bit into tomorrow, but we'll see how far we get. So this is the main section that I wanted to tackle and I just figured I might as well do the entire pantry whilst I'm at it. So this larder unit, I've actually never organized. So it's pretty much since we've had this larder unit, just been, things have been shoved in there for me to organize one day and I've never got round to doing it. So we need a good clear out and organize in here. Um, so we've obviously got like our coffee station down here with the velvet ties and espresso and sage. The spice racks on the side of the doors, which again, just have like really random stuff in. We've got a couple of cups, hot chocolates, um, coffees, syrups, um, all sorts. And then at the minute, I've got a load of seasonal mugs on the top, which I need to organize and sort through, have a bit of a clear out of. Probably keep them up there because it's quite hard to reach up there. Um, but I'm also thinking if I can find some more baskets that will fit maybe within these sections maybe deeper longer ones that i can be able to pop these bits within so that aesthetically when you look at it open all of that would be organized in baskets and everything um and then this being our mug shelf oh my favorite mug absolute favorite my little barney native mug love that um also love these little anna and nina ones um, that I got from Selfridges and there's a couple of Christmassy editions up there but yeah I need to just organize it all to be honest with you so that's one huge section that I need to do down here we've got um, pastas breads packeted goods which we do have a couple of organizers already um, and then where what have we got in here this was kind of like our cupboard that I used for all of the Christmassy food of which we still and look how messy that is that really upsets me <laughs> What the jars poking through that want to be aesthetic and look cute and then we've just got everything piled on top of it But yeah, this is a lot of like Christmas leftover foods so usually put the toaster away. So I'll pop that back away and Then this is like the kind of snack cupboard. So yeah, I'm seeing Thinking these baskets in that larger unit, but they'll just have to be deeper so that they can like go all the way to the back. They're from Ikea, by the way. Maybe we could do an Ikea trip soon. And then, yeah, just crisps and savory snacks up here. Some leftover sweet bits, condiments, all sorts. This is kind of like the tin section and spices, which is all still fairly organized, to be fair. That's not looking too bad. That's just like a surplus cupboard. There's nothing really in there and then this, these two are more for appliances so that's where the toaster goes we've just seen some crumbs so i need to wipe that down pop the toaster back in there um see if i can make room for tom's um or our cream ninja creamy breeze to make ice cream see if i can make space we've got that christmas oh, i got that for tom see if i can make some space for it to fit in there and then i just use this cupboard for barney's food so yeah that is the overview of the before of our pantry, which definitely is in need of an organise. remembered that I bought this from I think this was Ikea and I'm gonna see if this fits in the larder unit because if it does I like the fact that they've got handles on and we might be able to utilize and go and buy some more of these baskets right, let's have a look please fit please fit oh no they're too long that way like that's not gonna shut no well, we could do them that way. Would two fit though? No, that's over halfway. I think the problem with this one is, as you can tell, they're at an angle. 
if they were straight like that it would have been perfect so I think I might measure measure this space so that I can hopefully try and find some online just some baskets like that I feel like would have been perfect or would be perfect in those sort of gaps anyway what a shame never mind This is where it gets chaotic before it gets better. So I'm just breathing, keeping calm and carrying on. So this is the entire contents of that larder unit. And this is gonna be my main focus of the day. I think it's taking me a little longer than I thought. So um, you may have seen, I just lit that candle that I got sent from Neil. And I was like, let's set the Zen vibes, <laughs> the calm vibes with that candle. And it smells lovely. Anyway. We've got quite a few things that I'm going to be able to decant, like the pods, I can pop in some jars. I've got some cocoa powder jar there. We've got some like boxes of teas that I can maybe pop in the trays, the wooden trays that I've got. I've got my little sugar caddy here from Neptune, so I'll be able to pop my sugar cubes in there. So I'll be able to whittle down quite a bit of it, but another space or area that I'll be able to create some more space is my mug collection, which as you can see is quite big. Especially the seasonal mugs, I feel like I can whittle them down quite easily. When, when I say easily, it's going to be a challenge, but it is a space that I'll be able to, like, how many pumpkin mugs does one person need? Do you know what I mean? Anyway, this is how the larder unit is looking. I've popped these three baskets. I've actually taken them out of here just to see how they fit. I was hoping that four would fit, but unfortunately, it's just, a, like, literally... A couple of centimeters too tight so I'll either use these Ikea ones three of them and space them out the top shelf is really hard to reach so I don't want to be putting stuff up there that I'm using on a regular basis like for instance mugs unless if they're seasonal ones stuff that we don't use on a regular basis up there so I'm thinking in baskets would be quite neat and tidy and organized but maybe just two larger ones we will see but yeah this is how it's looking empty I'm just gonna give um, the surface is a bit of a wipe down, wipe these bits down like there's little bits of coffee granules and stuff in there. So I'm going to give them all a wipe down and then start reorganizing and just see how we go. Just want to show you this little contraption because I feel like a lot of you who have any little nooks and crannies like this will really appreciate it. So I've got this, I'll leave it linked below, but essentially it's like an air blower thing. So I've just literally blown that down this gap and all of this has come out. a brand new day and it just got so late last night that I didn't have a chance to finish off the video now what I did do is finish the larder unit so I will show you that um, but as I predicted at the start of the video the day just got away with me I didn't manage to finish the pantry I am filming another vlog today though so I will keep you guys posted on the rest of that kind of organizational side to things but before we close off this video, let me show you what I did do in the larder unit and plans to kind of like finish it. I also showed this jumper on Instagram and loads of you asked me for links to it. So I'll leave it linked below. It's the most softest, coziest jumper I ever did own. So let me show you the larder unit. So, 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 so. <laughs> I always say so in my videos. So <laughs> we, have organized 
and cleaned the entire setup in here and it just feels so much better it's definitely not perfect it's not like the most aesthetically pleasing just yet what i decided to do with the baskets is i could spin them around and have three but then obviously we've got quite a bit of space here that i feel like it's a bit of a waste so i am going to be on the hunt for baskets that maybe fit this space a little bit better or maybe get some more of them i'm not sure but Essentially at the bottom we've got our coffee unit, coffees, coffee machines, hotel chocolate velvetizer. It's probably easier if I stand on this side of the camera. Then at the moment within this door I just have the teas. So I've got like M&S, normal teas, like breakfast teas, and then my Dalesford Farm ones that I like. I've got like a peppermint and a chamomile, no, is it chamomile? Apple chamomile and lavender. And then on this door I was thinking coffees. So I've got my little decaf that I like to have, some syrups sugars, reusable coffee cups for on the go. And then up here we have in this basket all of the Nespresso pods. We've got in this basket some like other coffee bits, Hotel Chocolat sachets, that kind of thing. And then in this one it's kind of like all the bits and bobs that Tom needs for his Sage coffee machine. We've got mugs up here to the left and then one more basket which has Again, more like instant coffees, hot chocolates, Horlicks, that kind of thing in there. And then some cocoa powder, some coffee filter papers, some other like hot chocolates and teas and stuff from Harrods back there. A couple of uh, tea caddies, which are really easy to reach and just drag out, which obviously have all the different teas in this one. I'm nearly out of now, I need to find some more, but this one's delicious. Wild apple and cinnamon from Pucker. I also really enjoyed, because you can see there's only a few left, the winter warmer ones that they do. Um, what else do I like? I quite like this one, the Radiance. Um, but yeah, and we've got some other like Harrods Earl Greys and stuff in there. And then to the left, at the very top back, I've got the seasonal mug selection, which has very much been whittled down to just a few for autumn a few more for Christmas and yeah so they will stay up there kind of out of reach until I need to get them and I've pulled out my seasonal for this time of year my little love heart one ahead of Valentine's and then that little love heart one as well from the white company which I'll probably obviously use all year round finally at the top just some more coffee filter papers and a descaling kit for our Nespresso machine but that is our finished Bardi unit much much better but with that being said i am going to close off today's video here i hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog let me know by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing if you haven't already it means the world to grow this channel and this platform this community um honestly hand on heart guys i love each and every one of you thank you for all of your support love kindness follow like comment view whatever it may be Thanks for your support. I don't know why I just had that moment of gratitude there that I had to uh, give to you guys. And yeah, thank you for watching. I will hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video, which is probably gonna be, I've got some Zara and M&S bits arriving today, so I might try and get that filmed for my next video. Um, and then also I'm currently filming today, which won't be live for maybe another week or two, but I'll keep you posted on my Instagram in real time. So be sure to head over to my Instagram Homer account to see our new wardrobes being fit right now. Very excited, but stay tuned for all of that to come. Have a lovely rest of your day, whatever it is that you end up doing. Sending all my love, and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>